Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Diane and my passion is painting and creating nature-inspired watercolours in my studio, which are easy for you to do too. I share all my paintings with you on YouTube and on our website, dianeanton.com, you can find free downloadable sketches for all the videos to help you make the most of your painting journey. And if you'd like a little bit more, we also have channel memberships with loads of perks for you to enjoy. So welcome on board, click subscribe and turn on notifications and let's learn to paint watercolour. Hi everyone, Diane here, welcome to my studio. Hope everyone's well and fighting fit or otherwise. Um, today I'm going to paint a whimsical bird. And um, here I have my little sketch, which I just did on a post-it note. And I'm going to try to transform this into something on here. This is a Viviva sketchbook, and I'm going to use the Viviva paints. Um, this is their, what do they call it? Their watercolour pans. It's in a little holder, which is made of cork. And they're the same colours as on the Viviva blah, blah, sheets. Um, but there's a little bit more, I think, in each of these, and it's a little bit more um, amenable to uh, use. I think it's easier to use. So I'm going to draw a circle, and this paper is a bit weird to paint on, so we'll see how it goes, but it's not as weird as the... Um, Baohong, which I just tried to do this on and failed dismally because it doesn't work. This is not necessarily that good either. Anyway, so there's a circle. I don't know. It's a matter of taste, isn't it? There's a wing. And then the other wing is going to come around and be clutching a cup of coffee. And his eyes, her eyes are going to be well up in the sky and she's going to be looking up and thinking about her favourite song. Okay. And on the tablecloth in front of her, we're going to have some little stars because this is a French vinyl tablecloth. You know, the sort of thing. I've got them in my house. Helps protect the table from the cats and dogs and mice and things. Okay, <clears throat> so there we are, and we'll try and embellish it a little bit. I don't know if this is going to work. If it doesn't work, you'll never see it. Okay, so we have this colour here, which is a nice kind of phthalo blue sort of thing. And I'm going to use that in conjunction, not with that, with this, am I? Was I? What was I thinking? Try again. What else have we got? That. This all looks the same, doesn't it? That. Oh no, not that. Not that. I think it will have to be that one. So this one and this one. And then that for the beak. I'm not going to pre-wet it because this paper just doesn't take it. So we'll, you know, say a little prayer. We'll put in some blue and we'll put in some green. Try to go around the beak, around the coffee cup, around the handle and down to the table. You see how that's sitting in? No chance of any blending. You just have to love the lines. There's no way that you're going to not have lines. 
So that's okay. We just go around the top of the eye. Uh, yeah, that's the beak <clears throat> area. We might want to come down a little bit here. Try to keep this round. I'll probably have to straighten out the the circle using some white ink, I expect. And just put a little bit down here. You never know how this is going to go. You really don't. Okay, so then let's do the coffee cup in orange. That's the handle. And the beak. July the 14th today, uh, which is Bastille Day, and the hunters are out in force in the fields, chasing animals to their death with their dogs, which is great. Not. Okay, now I'm going to grab this um, pit pen, which is a black permanent fine liner and we'll put in some features. This is a nice doodle. Just have to <clears throat> try to relax. Pretend that nothing matters. On the top of the table. And we'll try, still a bit wet, but we'll try to go around the mug like that. Let's go around the stars as well. We start to embellish. So we'll just, I think, put some dots because why not? Around his eyes. And um, maybe I'll switch to the white and do some white scribbles. I love the feeling of that white when it goes onto this paper. The paper is, has many features, not all of which I enjoy, but one of them is that it feels much better when you use this white pen on this paper than it does when you use this pen on regular cold press watercolour paper with all of its texture. So I was thinking about, you know, the advice that people give to people um, for what paper to use and what paints to paint with and all the rest of it. And I was thinking, oh, you know, people say, why don't you do a beginner's course and tell us what we should have and what we shouldn't have and what we should do and what we shouldn't And it's not my style <clears throat> because everybody's different. And just because I like something, it really doesn't mean that anyone else should, should do that, do it that way or whatever. Um, and it depends what you're painting for. Are you painting to um, just simply literally have fun? Or are you trying to achieve something? 
You're just having fun. I don't think it matters what paint or paper you use, just whatever. You can paint an, a good picture on a lousy piece of paper. You can paint a lousy picture on a brilliant piece of paper. What you have to do is practice, and eventually you'll get there. Now, do you think she needs... Oh, we have to put the music in, don't we? There we go. She's listening to a nice song. She's looking kind of wistful. Might be hard to get that wistful look. Might have to work on that. And I think, does she want a few curly bits? Oh, I know what she needs. She needs some eyelashes. There we go, that's better. Make her eyes a bit bigger. We can use a little bit of gold and some of these. She's putting her pretty dress on. I think that looks nice when you put the little gold in there by the feathers. So what's new? Let me know in the comments below what's been happening to you this week. What's been happening to me, uh, apart from the heat wave and all our grass dying. Mind you, the sheep look pretty fat. I don't think they're suffering. The pandemic is still raging in France. Uh, 150 people yesterday died. It's not very good. Now, what do we think? do we think? I'm going to let it dry. Oops. I 
and see what I think when it's dry. Okay, so I have straightened out her eyes a little bit and I'm just going to put on the table next to her, her radio. Because she's listening to music, it's got to be coming from somewhere. So I'm just going to pop that on there and we'll colour that in and make that a sort of nice orangey brown colour. with gold knobs and a gold handle and maybe a nice gold speaker like that. So then the music is coming out with the radio. That makes a bit more sense. So there we are, she's finished now. Another bird a day to keep the blues away. She's listening to the blues on the radio and enjoying some lovely memories of days gone by while she drinks her cup of coffee. So hope you enjoyed that. Have a go, it's fun, it's not hard. And uh, I hope you uh, join me back here again soon for the next instalment of Paint a Bird a Day to keep the blues away. So bye for now, everybody, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.